Welcome back. I am in conversation with Mr. Prasenjit Bhattacharya, the CEO of Great Place to Work in India, a company that creates or rather works to create great workplaces. Uh, Prasenjit Bhattacharya, you have some big names as your clients. Uh, my question to you, why have they hired a company like Great Workplace in India? Does it mean that since they have hired, they were not until now great workplaces? Well, it's a very good question. Uh, to give you an analogy, which yeah. is always imperfect, but uh, it, it drives home the point nevertheless. Why does a good student have to appear for an examination in the CBSC or the ICSC board? Uh, because the board is not making them necessarily a good student. They are already a good student, but they also need to validate it using a framework and which has been consistently applied to thousands of different organizations. So a Google or an Intel or even a Godrej or a Marico does not require a great place to work institute to become a great workplace. They are great workplaces. But the reason why many of them would come to us is because when we assess thousands of workplaces, it is a good way for them to validate how good a workplace they are and are there areas where they can improve even though they are a good workplace and of course there are hundreds of workplaces what, yeah. absolutely what has yeah. been your experience uh, over the years uh, indian companies vis-a-vis -vis multinationals yeah oh that's very interesting and and the the beauty of the framework and the model is that trust pride and camaraderie is not the monopoly of any MNC. Uh, any any MNC. Uh, so therefore, you will find an equal mix of organizations in our uh, top 100 list. Having said that, in the top 25, you will find a disproportionate number of MNCs in the names that I have quoted like a Google or an Intel. And, uh, and the reason is still uh, is pretty simple because these organizations have been very, very focused in creating a great workplace. A Google, for example, when they started their organization, their core value number one is we want to work with great people. Okay. A Marriott says you take care of the associate, the associate will take care of the guests and the guests will keep coming back. Coming back and give you business. So therefore, these guys uh, are great workplaces, not because they are MNCs. They are great because workplaces their because their business model is all about uh, being a great workplace. You know, Ritz Carlton Hotel, is, you know, their motto is ladies and gentlemen serving ladies and gentlemen. That, okay. that tells you how much respect they give to their own employees, right? So having said that, when you go down below the top uh, 25 in the top 100, you will find an equal number of Indian organizations as well. So, so you are some kind of a motivational guru as well. Well, uh, you know, you, you, I mean, you, you, you just, your job doesn't end in just prescribing. You have to motivate the workers in the, uh, the, your, in the companies, I mean, who are in your client list. Isn't uh, it? You know, the, the right uh, analogy that comes to my mind yeah. is... Uh, you know, in, uh, in, in ancient India and ancient Greece, where you have uh, those mythologies where there, are, there, there was a time when the gods and humans coexist. So the best workplaces are the gods. And by virtue of having observed so, so many of them, mm -hmm. we are slightly closer to the gods in the sense that we, and I won't like to call myself a high priest in that mm -hmm. sense, but we have seen these workplaces and therefore a lot of people come to us for advice. The second reason why I think it's, it's very, very inspiring is because every year you will find organizations who otherwise would not be known. For example, there is, a, there is an apparel company called Silver Spark, which employs 5,000 employees uh, in Karnataka and majority of them are women. And from the lowest strata of society. Uh, is Silver? Silver Spark. Spark is your client? Silver Spark is one of the best workplaces. So therefore, oh, they okay. have come and done an assessment with us. And we went, we did an audit, and we found that... 
Say, talk about uh, what is the best workplace? I mean, what is, uh, let's not talk about only Silver Spark, but uh, what, what did you find there which uh, makes, it, makes we it different? We essentially find three, four things uh, when we look at the best workplaces. Mm -hmm. Every organization is unique. First mm -hmm. of all, they don't like to compare themselves with others. For example, when I go to an NTPC, which is a public sector, I remember 15 years back, when we did employee surveys, their employees used to write every fourth bulb in the country is lit by electricity produced by NTPC. Now remember privatization happened including the power sector. So therefore it was tough for public sectors. But today when I do a survey, their employees write with a lot of pride, every third bulb is okay. lit by electricity produced by NTPC. So from fourth bulb to third bulb which actually means that they have not only maintained their market share, they have enlarged it. So there's a huge sense of pride in the best workplaces. So if I were to sum up the four things, number one is creating a great workplace, one of the top three priorities for you. Number two, if it is a top three priorities, are you consistently looking at employee experience just as you look at customer experience, yeah. right? Number three, are your people practices designed to give good employee experience? And the last is, are your line managers, people managers conscious? Absolutely. On that note, we should go for another short break, but stay on. We'll be right back.